Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about uh, a wave equation example. And so let's write down uh, what the wave equation is again, and specifically what, uh, what the initial condition is going to be, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to have is a, uh, a string, uh, x, and, and the boundary of this string will be from 0 to 2 pi. All right, so we can just draw that over here like that, kind of crudely. And then we're going to have the wave equation, which is u t t is equal to c squared u x x. And we're going to take c squared to be uh, uh, not 0, but 1 for, for right now. That'll make things simple enough. All right, so that's just, uh, so that's that equation. So we're going to have fixed ends. And that, that makes it a, a string, it's sort of like a guitar string or a harp string. It's of a certain length and it has a certain tension on it that gives it a wave speed of, of c equals 1. And we have the fixed ends make that 0. And finally, now we have an initial condition, which is going to be um, u of x. Um, t equals 0 is equal to f, that's f of x. And I'm going to give a specific uh, f of x, and it's going to be sort of a, a, a kind of a, um, I don't know what you call it, like a just a triangle shape. And it's going to look like this. It's just going to, at, uh, centered at pi, we're going to have a little triangle shape like that. So the rest of it will be 0, and the width will be about 0.3 there. It'll be an isosceles triangle, and uh, the height will be also uh, 0.3, and these values were picked fairly arbitrarily just to make the visualization look nice. So it'll be a little, a little triangle shape like that, right? So you can think of this as sort of like holding the string uh, down there and then pulling up the string like it were a... Um, like a rubber band to make a little triangle and then what we're going to do is so that was the initial condition the and then we're going to say that the initial velocity so this was the initial position I should say and the initial velocity is just going to be zero and what we're doing here then the situation is sort of like uh, taking a finger there taking a finger there and holding the rubber band down at zero and then taking a third finger and pulling the rubber band back to make a triangle. Kind of like we're going to set up a, a bow and arrow or something. And then we're going to let it go at, so we're going to let go of this rubber band at time equals zero. We want to know what kind of wave. So again, the question that we're going to ask is, you know, what kind of a wave results? Okay, so just to, just to map on, what, so I'm going to pull up some MATLAB code quick to actually uh, visualize what this, what's going to go on here. But before we do that, I wanted to reactivate a few memories from the previous video, which is that the solution, what we found was, the solution for this type of thing is going to be u of x of t is going to be equal to w of x uh, plus ct plus w x minus ct where w is equal to f of x w of x is equal to f of x divided by 2 and so what's happening then is the kind of thing that we're going to see is at, after, at, after a bit of time so if we're thinking about this as going forward in time, what we're going to see is uh, a smaller TP shape and a smaller TP shape here, like that's half the height. So if that's 0.3, this is going to be uh, 0.15, and that's going to be 0.15 there. Maybe I can draw it a little bit shorter, like that. And basically what we're going to have is both of these waves are going to be left and right going, and they're going to keep going out 
until they hit this boundary. And what we can think of them doing is, is basically going to reflect back, and they're going to reflect back going, but they're going to be the negative version of the wave, and they're going to go into each other. All right? And what that looks like, if we think of it as a periodic extension, there's uh, 0 to 2 pi. If we think of, again, that's 4 pi out here, we can think of this as a, uh, we can think of it as a, a wave that has, a, it's periodically extended an odd wave. And so there's going to be, after a moment of time, there'll be shorter waves going this way, and another wave going that way, and a left going wave, and there'll be a left going wave here, and a right going wave that way, and eventually these waves are going to come together and collide, and then and then and then pass right through each other. So you're going to see these kind of things showing up, and we're gonna and we're gonna do a, mo a movie. We're gonna watch a movie here. So let's pull up some MATLAB and actually do this. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, pull this up. Here's my here's my file, and uh, I can I can post this to you in Canvas as well. Uh, and so I will spare you the details of actually computing the Fourier coefficients because it turns out to be a quite a, a involved calculation. But we'll just press play on this. But you can see right here I've actually written out what the the b sub n calculation. So the b sub n that is our uh, our, our Fourier coefficients, and you can see that the the function for them is is quite. Um, you know, it takes up two lines in MATLAB, so that's a pretty big Fourier coefficient. At any rate, I, I, I've, I've now uh, I'm going to run this program, and there is exactly what I talked about. Uh, there is our um, our initial condition, our initial position, which is the black line there, and that's f of x, and our initial velocity is zero, and that's the red line, and of course that's just zero. Okay, we can see now that we have that from 0 to 2 pi, that's our central region that we want to focus on. That's going to be a, the positive little triangle shape. And we want to see what happens to that triangle as time goes forward. And we see that there's the, that odd extension. So we see sort of a negative reflection of the same initial condition for the uh, 2 pi to 4 pi case and, and the negative uh, 0 to negative 2 pi case. So we have pieces of the domain outside of our central domain there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a, look at a, a, a 3D solution of this. Okay, so there we go. That looks pretty exotic. Uh, so again, here is the x. I'm going to write it, this, put it this way. This is the x, uh, x direction. Um, uh, now, bear in mind that it's going from 0 to, to 2 pi uh, going left, but, uh, uh, which is a little unfortunate, but because we have a symmetric case, it doesn't really matter. We can see uh, there's that little, and now time is the axis going this way, going forward. We're going from 0 all the way out to 20 seconds. Uh, and we can see here that the, the central 0 to 2 pi is this central little piece of the of the of this surface here and you can see that there's a wave that travels from that central point out to here and when it gets to the boundary at 0 it reflects and comes back and here we have that left going wave if you will going out all the way to the boundary and then it reflects and it comes back and then they collide and they're negative and for here, they're all negative values. So if you see, if you flip this over, we see the negative going waves underneath here. And then they pass right through each other, and they go over, and they hit the boundary again and reflect. And if we take that periodic extension going out, we can see that it's essentially that reflection that happens at the boundary could also be thought of as a, a right going wave passing into the domain of interest and that becomes our right going wave which looks like a reflection. So that's a, a, good, a good way to visualize what's going on here and as time goes forward we see we just keep getting this wave bouncing off this, this thing. And So you can think of this as a, a mechanical distortion of the a stretching of this elastic string and that causes a traveling wave uh, to hit the boundary of this string and that wave then gets reflected back and it moves across the string uh, the string over time as time goes forward and then it reflects again and it goes forward and time and so on and so forth forever because there's no friction in our system so these waves keep bouncing back and forth across our string.
All right, so now let's actually watch a movie. So here we are, again, the same domain. We can see the central third of this region is is the uh, is the uh, uh, um, is the uh, um, is our is our uh, domain of interest, and we can see that there's these traveling little pulses that pulse along the the string itself, and they move in and out. Okay, so there you go. There's a there's an example of a, a wave equation solution. Uh, uh, played out in, in an actual movie for you to see. Thanks very much.